Captain's log date, February 17th, 1943. Morale on the sailfish is high. In only a span of four days, the sailfish has destroyed three Japanese small tankers for a total of 14,700 tons. Only four torpedoes had been expended during this, leaving us with a total of 14 Mark 14 torpedoes and four of the cuties, which we probably will not use. We will stay on station for five more days and then relocate as high command sees fit. Date, February 22nd, time, 0100 hours. Multiple contacts detected on radar, estimated course 310. All hands man your battle stations. Zero quarter, zero quarter. All hands man your battle stations. All hands man your battle stations. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 4 Wolves of the Pacific. I was patrolling off of the coast of New Guinea and I was about to pack up shop and leave when we got quite a few radar contacts here of a task force supposedly heading southeast, speed is medium. So let's go ahead and just turn due south now and bump up our speed to standard. Let's take a look at our uh, PPI scope. Ah, oh, come on, come on now. I've been playing too much cold water as my... Okay, there we go. I keep clicking the wrong button. It's been a while. I've been feeling pretty under the weather, so I've been trying to take a little break. Hence the, the skipped upload uploads, I guess. And I apologize for that. See, there's quite a few of them. Let's reduce range to uh, 3,000. See if we can get a, a better picture of what is going on and see what their formation is or anything like that. There we go. And they adjusted course so much because we are in the middle of our turn. And it looks like they're just heading in a straight line, so I really do wonder what the hell they are. And it looks like uh, they're not updating their position. Alright, so they should be just dead ahead of us more or less see if we can see anything on the horizon highly doubt it <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and head full and I went ahead and put us on battle stations just in case oh let's make sure let's make, make sure our uh, gun crew is not on there I do not want them to spot them and start shooting and give our position away by accident or anything that would be bad that would be bad, especially since they think it's a task force, and uh, I'm expecting some pretty heavy duty um, firepower from them, especially in terms of warships. We'll see. Could just be a regular old convoy with a task, which I would definitely be okay with. We have Mark 14s loaded in the forward torpedo compartments. And we have two cuties, so I should be able to handle any, uh, well, maybe any Japanese escorts that are really giving us trouble. Um, I haven't had too much luck with the cuties, but we will try again if the opportunity arises. For now, we are making a steady 18 knots towards the combat area. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and mark their position down and start getting a general course for them. As you can see, we're, we're pretty close to our last ship we sunk. <clears throat> and I will probably stalk these guys until the majority of them are sunk. My goal is to keep in track with this convoy and uh, just keep giving them hell. I, I suppose they are heading to the port of Weewak here. So that would be... Uh, that gives us quite a bit of time, not too much. They are heading on a southeast course, so that's generally... Let's see... Uh, it's over a hundred nautical miles, so we probably have an opportunity for Single two attacks. <clears throat> Zero. Long range. I'm mark that. Now let's just keep heading south. I think this is okay for the time being. Now we can use some time compression now. Okay, so it looks like we have four contacts. Heading in a straight line. Hmm. Let's go ahead and bump it up the flank. And try to get it, squeeze a few more knots. We can probably go up to 21. Uh, that would be my guess. We'll see. We're at 20 now. Oh, maybe only 20. Only two knots. That's fine, though. 
I cannot complain. Alright, so we have a pretty good idea of where they're going. They're kind of just heading on a course of what? Let's see here. What's their course? 133. Three. Okay. Let's just drag this down. So, so 133. Three. Bam. That's their course. <clears throat> and we are just hauling ass towards them. Let's see if we have visual now. Single contact. Bearing. Three. Seven. Long. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the neck. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh yes, I do. I do see smokestacks on the horizon. It looks like two light cruisers, maybe. Uh, from what I can see here, looks like they have three smokestacks each. I highly doubt y'all can see this due to the way uh, YouTube likes to goof with my videos. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to identify them now. Um, I think I know what they are. We have come across these guys before, I believe. And they have three smokestacks. So I think it's a Kuma light cruiser. It could be any of these though. It's between these two. The Kuma and the uh, Tenryu. Tenryu? Um, it has a pretty tall superstructure. So we will see. Are these essentially the same? What the hell is the difference? It looks like one of them has the seaplane launcher. And that is the only difference. Alright, well our luck with warships this patrol is uh, pretty good. So we are in visual range, I need to be wary about that. Uh, let's go ahead and just run parallel to them for the time being. As we go ahead and uh, keep plotting them and get their speed. <clears throat> bring this this guy up here and we'll mark him the next time our radar operator updates their position for us mark and we'll mark uh, this guy here with mark 4 now it says our speed is medium so I'm, I'm guessing probably around 12 ish knots it looks like we're establishing hydrophone contact with them Alright, two, alright, okay, I hope our radar operator gives us, alright, closing in on five minutes, I hope our radar operator updates their position before, uh... alright, Mark, awesome, <laughs> perfect, alright, yeah, that's three minutes, well, I guess they are not going as fast as I suspected, let's see here. Nine knots. Alright, easy peasy. So we are all <laughs> more than doubling that speed. And it's only one o'clock at the moment, so we have plenty of night time to play with. So this should be a, a good thrashing. Yes. Alright, let's see what the hell else is in here. So it looks like the two cruisers are leading the formation. And we have some sort of merchant vessel in the middle, and... Maybe another merchant vessel, like a transport or something. So I don't see any anti-submarine ships here. So that's not good for them. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here. Let's see here. They're about five nautical miles. Let's draw another five nautical mile line here. Um, so we'll keep heading this way, I think. Hopefully they do not detect us. Let's let's run a little more parallel here. I do not want to get detected. I just want to get in a nice position ahead of the enemy. And let's take another look and make sure I have this. I just want to check for destroyers, honestly. Let's see. Cruiser, cruiser. And it looks like uh, the other two have vanished over the horizon. Or, uh into the fog at least. I can't make out the other two vessels. That is really odd though. So as long as we don't get spotted on the surface we'll 
be good. We'll be in good to good condition. Jesus, talking is hard. All right, so we're back with just pure old radar contact at the moment. Now I'm I'm debating how I want to do this. I get shoot two, two and two at the two light cruisers, and then uh, surface after they hopefully go down, and then uh, reestablish contact, and then sink the last two in the line, unless they just split up, and uh, you know every man for themselves and run away, which probably wouldn't be bad. All right, so we're in a good position. Periscope depth, please get under now it is 144 so we've been tracking them for almost two hours now Let's get down here and we elegantly submerge beneath the waves this sub actually has a pretty good dive time And now we are decks awash. And we are going under. And the crew should get, yeah, they're off the bridge now. Probably a smart move by them. Wouldn't want them to drown. And uh, those are our propeller guards, by the way. That's what those are. And we can slow down. I can hear my electric motors from up here. Jesus. All right. Perfect. We're at four zero feet, and we lay and wait. Let's take a look at our crew here. How's everyone doing? No one's fatigued yet, which is good. They've only all been on battle stations for a few hours, so. <clears throat> and let's see. Connie Tower is at full efficiency, which is good. So we should pick them up on hydrophones shortly, unless I do it first. <laughs> let's go to take a look. Take a listen. Yeah, there they are. About at 9-0. Let's go ahead and slow down to about half a knot. Claw. Current speed, zero. Current speed, zero. Current speed, zero. Yep, there they all are. All right, and now we, we lay in wait. So I will get back to you guys whenever um, they're a bit closer, because this is probably going to take a while. So I'll see you folks in a minute. So we have crawled into position here. We're going at about, we can check our RPM here. We're going at about 20 RPM, probably a little less, more like 15. So we're just barely crawling along here. And I raised our observation scope to take a look and they are definitely in a very good position. Uh, they're slowly approaching their demise. And here are the two merchant ships. I'm not. I'm not sure what those are, so let's go ahead and try to take a look here while I am thinking about it. Um, but these will be secondary targets for obvious reasons. Uh, I'd rather sink my teeth into some warships. And, hmm. I don't know. I think they're just like basic uh, merchants, like a Nagara Maru. I think that's honestly what that is. And I can't really make that out, but I think it might be the same type of vessel. I don't think they're anything uh, too special. Looks like they're being escorted by two cruisers, however. And I think these are the, uh, the Kuma light cruisers, because I think I see a seaplane tender on there. Uh, I could be dead wrong, though. All right, well, let's see, what's the mass height on each of these? Huh. The mass height is quite different. But I think, I think it is right. Here, one sec. All right, yeah, we'll go ahead and block that in. Turn this on, and let's go ahead and uh, get his range here. Okay, mark. 
and now we just lay in wait as they approach their doom. While we're at it, let's go ahead and set up all of our torpedoes. So torpedo settings. Hmm. How, approximately how what will our range be at the point of attack? Probably around two thousand, three thousand yards. And oh yeah, we are well within high speed range. So we'll do speed high and contact on all of them. And torpedo depth will do ten feet. High contact ten. Contact high ten. And we gotta just adjust this for one more torpedo. And ten. Alrighty. That should be good. <clears throat> and now we just need to wait and see if I can make out a seaplane tender on here, because I'm pretty sure that is the only difference. Two merchant ships following closely behind. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, get another range reading here. Let's see. They're saying 8 knots and 138 degrees. I could probably have time to uh, 315 once again. Let's go here. mark his position. Now let's wait and see. 1, 2, alright we're getting a little close for this but alright. Just want the most accurate position or uh, speed when attacking these guys. 3 mark. He's doing it with radar is obviously not the most accurate thing in the world. And I'm getting 9 knots once again. Alright, so it's almost go time. Let's go see here. So we'll plug in nine knots. AOB at the moment is about an 80 degree angle to port. Mark and range. We'll get range here. Like so. Mark. All of our torpedoes are set up. And uh, position keeper. And let's go ahead and uh, lock this guy in as well. Alright, so we'll just uh, lock on to this fellow and wait and see. Should be getting good. Alright, we're going to have to shoot very shortly. I kind of want this guy to pass us a little bit maybe. So I'll have a better angle at the second one in the line. So I'm going to wait a little longer than I normally would. Open all four torpedo tubes, please. He's at a really good angle right now, though. Alright. He's passing zero on our gyro angle. Mark 90. And we will wait a little bit more. All right, tube one and two. Last bearing. Mark. Oh, God damn it! I adjusted it at the last second. Speed nine. Yes, yes, yes. AOB is a little past ninety. All right, tube one, fire. Tube two, fire. All right, both torpedoes are away. Switch to the second target. All right. Get this down. Mark. Nine. Okay. AOB is closer to 90 on this guy. Tube three. Tube three. Fire tube three. Tube four. Fire. All right. All four word torpedo tubes are away. Let's start moving and let's swing about. All right. Hopefully all torpedoes are running hot straight and normal. We will find out. 
Looks pretty good. It looks like uh, they'll hit shortly after each other. If they do hit at all, uh, this could be a massive failure. Um, granted, hitting this guy is going to be harder because he can uh, do evasive maneuvers a little faster than our first friend here in the line, but we shall see. And those are the two merchant ships over behind. This is interesting. I've never seen a... Oh, I guess I have. But escorting a convoy with cruisers, that's not, that's not smart, man. All right, they're looking pretty good. I've, I'm pretty confident in our solution. I don't think I botched it up in any way. But then again, I never think I do until, uh, until I miss, so. <laughs> we shall see. I'll be very upset if I do miss, but these do look good, I have to say. Okay, they spotted them, I think. They're flashing Morse code to each other, so I think shit's about to hit the fan. All right, moment of truth. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Booyah! Awesome. And one of them was a dud. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, alright. Let's see. Number two. Alright, looks like they're going evasive a little bit, but it's too late for our other friend here. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Okay, that is that is lame. Maybe it's because I shot too close to a zero degree angle. I should have had a little more offset, I suppose. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> All right, let's turn around. All right, well, at least we got one of them. He is listing pretty heavily from the stern. Um... Let's stalk them. I'll just... Yeah, reload our torpedoes. Oh, gee. He's listening pretty heavily. I wonder if I... Whip around, I'll be able to hit him. The problem is... They are most definitely going to be zigzagging. It looks like the merchants are breaking off, which is exactly what I was kind of afraid of. I'm not gonna be okay. One crew, this cruiser slowing down. Yeah, tube one is ready. Yeah, this guy's he's not doing too well. The one we did hit. Oh, and he's going down. Let's take a look. Hell yeah. Okay, so it looks like one torpedo is enough for these guys. Oh, yeah. Sweet. And wow, yeah. He tanked really fast. Dolly. I don't know if y'all can even see this. I'll try to brighten it up a little bit. His uh, searchlight's still going off, which is interesting. All right. So now we just have a uh, number two here to play with. Um, hmm. So we're only making nine knots, huh? And he is zigzagging. It looks like the merchants are still are ch going back onto their original course. All four torpedo tubes are loaded. Uh, let's try to break off here, and I will re-engage. I will track them on the surface using radar and uh, try to re-engage. We have all four torpedo tubes reloaded. So uh, I'll try to keep in contact with the merchant ships, but obviously our priority is the cruiser. Um, <laughs> let's see. Yep, it was indeed a Kuma light cruiser as well for 5,000 tons more or less. So we will, uh, that is the plan, and I will see you guys shortly. Um, okay, so interesting development here. I'm tracking these guys and they're doing all sorts of wacky shit. Like this this ship keeps 
looping around, I'm presuming these are the two merchants, and uh, zigzagging a lot, doing very sporadic maneuvers, which is probably a good idea for him since, you know, they were sailing in a straight line and just got torpedoed. But then we regained radar contact with these three ships. So I'm going to go investigate these three and see what's what. So let's just head due north. We are moving at 19 knots. Four ships. Okay, interesting. Because they are unsuspecting, so they don't know what's happening. Uh, even though they probably should. Um, but the ships don't really communicate with each other. Like, in reality, they would have blasted off a radio communication saying there's a submarine in the area. And eventually, most traffic would have been uh, diverted and... You know, more destroyers and hunter-killer groups would have been sent to this area, but uh, as someone said in the comments earlier, uh, this game doesn't really react to your uh, you sinking ships, at least in a more uh, in a large scale. Uh, like they'll send a few planes and some destroyers, but like they won't divert merchant shipping and such. So there is that. So let's see if we have visual on these guys. They seem fairly close, but... Um, no, no visual at the moment. From what I can see. So, we'll go ahead and, uh... Try to move up here. These guys are moving very slowly as well now. And these guys apparently are moving medium. Let's see if we can see them now. Let's see, where are they at? About 7 0. <clears throat> um, no. Thought I saw. Oh, here we go. And it looks like two more Kuma light cruisers. Which is, um. Uh, Interesting. I don't know what the Japanese are planning here with their light cruisers. Uh, so they're just using them as escort duty and they didn't expect this area to be so hot. Uh, which is understandable, I guess. But uh, hopefully our torpedoes don't fail this time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and mark down. Or we'll mark them. We'll start the chronometer once our radar operator updates their position. I'm assuming they're sailing at a, a nice nine knots. That would be my guess. We shall find out. So we can... Looks like we've given, been given a second try. And I'd much rather attack the formation that is not doing sporadic maneuvers than the one that obviously is. Makes my job a hell of a lot easier. Honestly, I might... Let's see here. Now they're going to be pretty far, possibly, but I might have time to swing around and then attack this other formation. Um, we we'll shall see. One minute. I need to dive soon. I need to dive really soon. So it's getting a little too close. Alright, yeah. Periscope depth. I'm not risking this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Periscope depth. Periscope depth. I'd rather not get caught on the surface. Especially by uh, two cruisers. And I'm probably going to have to reverse a little bit. Actually, let's just go to radar depth. Yes, sir. Radar depth. All right, can mark that down. That's more or less. And let's see, nine knots, baby. Ten knots. Ten knots. All right. I'll take your word for it. All right, yeah, we, okay. Periscope depth, then. We really need to slow down, too. We are, uh... 
We are really uh, way too close for this. Let's go to our observation scope. It's already conveniently raised, and we need to come up a few feet. All right. Where? Oh, where? Hello. And it looks like it's essentially the same formation that we contacted earlier. So those are probably Kuma light cruisers. No, 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 no. Please don't, please don't. Hey, I'm proud of y'all. Y'all really got that scope under fast. But don't. I'll stop, please, for the love of God. Oh my God. Yeah, sorry boys. Did not mean to uh, do you like that. But it's good that their response time is so quick. Well, well oiled fighting machine. No, honestly, we need to start reversing. Alright. Let's get our barometer out. Lock and mark. Let's mark his position on the map and get his speed. Two. So hopefully we can bag two of them this time. Uh, if it wasn't for, not for our uh, bad torpedoes. I do think that was because I shot at borderline a zero degree angle. I need to make it a little more acute. All right. Lock. And mark. Sure, that's fine. More or less. More or less, more or less. Ten knots. All right, so at least the speed's a little different. That makes me feel a little better. Um, I don't know what the what game the Japanese are playing at at the moment. Alright. Alright. So let's go ahead and uh, set up our attacks. And let's go ahead and turn a little more so we shoot at a different angle. Alright. So let's put these in. Kuma light cruiser. Kuma light cruiser. All right, and let's turn that bloody thing off. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. So we're gonna begin our turn. Once we've completed said turn. Yeah, that should be good. All right, lock. And let's get his range. Like so, mark. AOB, AOB is about 70. Okay. And speed we established was 10 knots. Mark. Now we lay and wait. Whoa! 237. Are those our other friends? Yeah, it sure is. I can see them over there, way, on the di way in the distance. Alright. I'll lay and wait a little bit. Okay, we should be good. Uh, torpedoes, high contact. Shit, I forgot to do this. And depth. Let's set them a little shallower. It says their draft is 20 feet, but anyway. I should probably shoot at this one first, but I'm not too worried about it. All right. Bearing, two, All right. <clears throat> tube one, fire. Tube two, fire. All right. 
Hello. Hello, Kuma Light Cruiser. Alright, make sure that's locked in. Indeed it is. Alright. Update that. AOB. Bam. Tube 3. Fire. Tube 4. Fire. All right, we shall see how this goes. Hope I did. I set all my torpedoes to high speed. I really hope so. We'll find out though. And they were. There's no way they were going ten knots. No way in hell. How'd I fuck that up? I must have messed up the speed. I guess the AOB might have been a little sharper, but Bearing two, three, that shouldn't seven, account for range. such a contract. Okay, we might end up hitting this guy, the second one in the line. We'll see. Ooh, <laughs> right in the bow. Two of them. Maybe it was the AOB. I did set it to more of a, it was a sharper angle than that. But that's two in the bow. Granted, that is the least important part of the ship, more or less, so we'll see. Uh, reload, boys, reload. Let's see, what's our progress on reloading? We're about a quarter of the way through with one torpedo. Oh, I think she's going down, though. Man, that's rough. I had high hopes. Oh god, thank you so much. What are these? God damn it. Oh, they're pretty heavily armed. I have a pretty large deck gun. Two large deck guns, as a matter of fact, so. Definitely don't want to get in a surface brawl with them. And yeah, she's. She is not liking those two torpedoes. Uh. I think she's done for. We saw that other one, like, stayed afloat for about 10 minutes and then just tanked. So I'm sure they're. Probably getting ready to abandon ship because that does not look like they can recover that. I'm so sorry. I mean, you can even see it. It's diving. It's becoming a submarine as we speak. Um, well. Let's turn around. And head as fast as you can. And let's look at these guys, see what they're up to. Yeah, this one's and she's going down. Let's see. Oh my god. Just nose dived. Man, these ships always just tank when I'm not looking. There's the seaplane. Wow. They, they just Oh, well, that's pretty brutal. It looks like the merchants are doing the same thing. They're kind of peeling off and leaving this guy all alone. Not that the merchants are going to help very much. Alright, well let's turn around and see what's what with these guys. Maybe pull off another attack and sink the last cruiser. We only have two forward torpedoes, so I'll probably end up going home very shortly. Um, let's see. We've sunk three warships. The fleet carrier two Kuma light cruisers and maybe a third at the moment we shall find out momentarily so let's go ahead and whip her around we'll see what are they doing all right let's go ahead and slow down okay Let's see what's going on here. Alright, so there's our Kuma light cruiser. Hmm, I wonder if we hit it with the cutie, if it would disable its engines, because it is zigzagging. So we're going to shoot stern torpedo tubes here. They're all zigzagging. I probably saw the massive fireball um, in the distance. That would 
that would give me cause to worry as well. But however, it doesn't look like he's really putting much effort into his zigs and zags. It's not really. What the hell is going on here? This is this is weird. All right, let's all stop. And let's just lay in wait. All right, let's get this guy's speed as well. So this one is the cruiser. All right, and mark. Okay. One. What the hell is it doing? Did it just stop? Well, this isn't going to be a very good speed reading. Okay, let's redo this. I don't think we'll have time. We might just have to spitball it. Besides, he's going slow. I might try the cuties, honestly, here. Is he hunting us? If that's the case, that's kind of funny. Ah! Oh no, oh no. Please don't. I don't like that. <laughs> Alright. I understand you are not playing around. There's no way he's going over 12 knots though. Which makes me think the cuties, if they just disable the engine room. Keeps. Let's see which ones are the cuties loaded in two, five, and six. Two cuties, I think, would do that, right? Yeah, fuck it. Obviously, is a Kuma light cruiser. Mark. Speed. Let's plug in eight. Time beam. see here range is so up oh, there's our torpedo solution hey I think this might work let's fire both of them let's see how they do this is exciting we're using our cuties for a purpose that they're really not supposed to be used for. Look at the little guy. Oh, he <laughs> goes up to the surface. That's adorable. All right, so let's lay and wait, I suppose. Let's go ahead and watch him from here. Because once his engines are disabled, he is just free game. We'll find out though. Yep, they're tracking him. Let's go take a look. Hopefully they're tracking him and not the uh... Mostly just trying to find them by listening. Oh, I hear them. There they are. Oh, one of them. Oh boy. <laughs> I was hoping it would hit it right in the engines, but it might just hit them. Yeah. Oh, there goes one. I mean, this would have to slow them down. That's a small rip, but you know, a decent hole into them. Here goes number two. Right into the side of the hole. Not really what I wanted, but... Uh, that's a pretty big explosion. Oh my god, is it going to sink them? I think the two cuties might have put her in. Well, if that's the case, let's try to hit one of these merchants. And you know, no. I think we're... <laughs> I think we're done here. If this one sinks. Um... Yeah, and it's gonna sink, guys. We got it. She's done. I can't believe two cuties did that. 
So we found the, the real purpose of using a QD torpedo. It is to track slow moving light cruisers. There's two of them. Yep, it's on a nosedive once again. Hell yeah, guys. Alright, so while we watch this this event happen, let's go down yes, to 80 feet and just get the hell out of here. This is, let's just turn due north for the moment. Wow. New course. Three, I was really not expecting that to sink her. I was expecting it to slow her down, maybe stop her, but to absolutely sink her with two cuties? I mean, those are very tiny warheads. Oh God, I forgot how much Torpex. I wanted to, I want to say like, I'm not sure. We'll see, 40 pounds? I guess these things are pretty light. I mean, that's the whole point. They are light cruisers. And, yep, she's officially going down. 1943 on the 22nd. You know what's crazy? This was the day I was planning on leaving this area. And what happens? I get plopped smack dab in the middle of a whole bunch of Japanese cruisers. Well. Yep, she's done for. I guess we'll let the merchants go. I think we've my men are probably pretty tired. I wonder what time it is. Wow. Well, it has been one hell of a night for the USS Sailfish. I think we can say that. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Go. Yeah, three Kuma light cruisers. Jesus. I think that brings our grand total of Kuma light cruisers to four. Um, actually, let's go ahead and just turn south. Just get the hell out of here. And uh, we'll surface, send off a radio transmission. Yeah, I'm not interested in you guys. And see where High Command wants us to go. Okay, so it's 643 pounds of Torpex. That's, that's a pretty meaty warhead that's not bad no that's our okay yeah okay that's our mark 14s that explains that our, our the cutie is only 95 pounds so it only took about 200 pounds of torpex to put her under um yeah talk about a tin can all right boys you've been on battle stations for oh my god almost six hours all right, y'all can probably more closer to six hours. So let's go ahead and secure from battle stations. Y'all have earned earned some rest. All right. So with that underway, let's go ahead and surface the boat, and we will come up after an exciting night. Recharge our batteries, our air, and uh, shoot off a radio message to to Australia and see where they want us to go. But wow, that is crazy. Maybe they'll just want us to go home after that. That's, that is bananas. I'm sure the Japanese fleet is definitely going to feel that. What a turkey shoot. <laughs> All right, let's head up onto the bridge and ah, uh, daylight. Contact. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. I'm sure it's one of the ships we just abandoned. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, shoot off a message. Proceed to along Palu, where both shipping lanes. All right, so that's where we are heading. I guess they weren't pleased with my outstanding performance but that's fine oh we're just heading up north okay that's fine I am okay with that so let's go ahead and uh, get rid of all this crap and uh, change course we have plenty of fuel I think our limiting factor is definitely torpedoes so uh, we don't have much longer at sea and let's go ahead and head yes, two-thirds and head on to our new area with uh, all that tonnage under our belt, it has been a very successful night for the USS Sailfish. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'm sure this is probably a pretty long episode at this point, so...
Uh, my episodes have been getting longer and longer, I feel like. Which I hope you are okay with. If you are not, uh, let me know and I'll try to cut them a little bit, but... Um, I think I think having them longer and showing more of the gameplay uh, adds a little bit. Adds a little bit of immersion. So, anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, as the sailfish gets underway here and I will see you guys on the next one.